come out for the first macro walk of the 2023 season. We've come to one of my favourite locations, Mill Green and Hawks Green Valley Nature Reserve. This is one of my favourite locations because it's quite close to home so we can get here quite easily. And there's a varied locations here. There's lakes, there's a stream, grass, trees. So there's various different biodiversity areas here with different species in it. So let's go for a walk now around this nature reserve and see what we can find. So we found an interesting area here. There's an area here where there's a lot of what appears to be maybe carpenter or masonry bees. I haven't encountered these before, but they are doing a lot of digging. They're quite full of pollen on their back legs. We're gonna see if we can get a shot of these bees now. They're very active, so there's no way we're gonna be able to do a focus stack of any kind on these bees, but we will be able to get away with a single shot. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna set my camera up for a single shot. Now typically when I'm doing a single shot, I will use TTL on my flash. I'm gonna use one 200th of a second for my shutter speed. We're gonna go with a F, let's say an F10, and an ISO of 320. That's my ballpark figure for any moving subject like this. And then again, if we need to, we can adjust those settings to get the actual shot we want. But let's start with those figures. It's gonna be very hard to capture these bees, but they are digging. So they are preoccupied, so I might be able to get a shot. But if I flip out my screen and then get my camera low and we'll see if we can get a shot. In previous episodes of Macro Adventures, we usually go around a particular location. In future episodes though, what I want to do is start concentrating on one shot for one video. So since we found all of these bees here, we're going to concentrate on trying to get a shot of one of these bees that I deem portfolio worthy. So we've been in this location for about an hour now, and we believe these are mining bees. And when you don't know, anything about a certain species. What you want to do is slow down and just observe. I've taken a step back and just observe what these bees are doing. And what these bees are doing is they are landing, they are then burrowing a hole in the ground, they're going inside the burrow, they're covering themselves up and I'm assuming they might be laying eggs. But then what they're doing is they're coming back out of the burrow and as they pop out the burrow, they poke just their head above the burrow to take a look around and that's the shot that I want to get. You can clearly see over there where I've been standing there are no burrows. I've been standing in one place just observing. So I'm going to go back over there now and I'm going to stand there and I'm just going to wait until I see some activity from a burrow and we're going to get the shot that we want. On further research I found out that these are possibly mining bees. They're a solitary bee and they dig burrows in the ground to lay eggs or hibernate. Now since it's spring, I'm going to assume that these are going to be laying eggs. The bees are all over this area and the numerous times I've been to this area, I have not seen this bee here before. That's not to say they haven't been here, most likely I just wasn't looking for them. But this is a fascinating and interesting find and I'm going to hang around this area for a little bit longer and see what other pictures I can capture. To identify species that I don't know, what I do is I take a series of identification pictures. These are not very artistic images, but they capture the bee or the subject from the front, the top and the side so that I can ID them later on using Google at home on my computer. So while I'm doing this process, I'm getting some good images, but at the same time, I'm being very wary of where I'm treading, where I'm kneeling or sitting. I don't want to hurt one of these bees and I just don't want to get stung by one of these bees. So I'm being very careful what I'm doing. So what I'm doing is I'm looking down here. There's a big enough space there for my foot to go. There's no bee there, there's no hole. So I can place my foot there 
and move forward just a little bit. And that's what I'm doing through the whole area because again, I don't want to hurt the subject. We want to be gentle. We don't want to disturb them. They're going about their business. I'm going about my business and we both can get our work done today without getting disturbed. Okay, so we're gonna get set up to get this particular shot that I want of the bee coming out of the burrow. To get that shot, again, as I said previously, there's no way you can focus stack of this because they're too active, they're moving around. There's no way you're getting a focus stack. So for that, you wanna set your camera up for a single shot. So for that, I'm gonna go with a TTL on my flash with plus one exposure compensation. Because I'm getting quite close to the ground, the flash heads or the light from the flash aren't quite getting onto the subject. So I'm gonna boost that by one exposure so that we get the exposure that we want. I'm gonna go one 200th of a second, that's my maximum sync speed for this camera. F14 on my lower lens at a one-to-one -one magnification, I feel quite comfortable using F14 and ISO of 400. Those are the settings. I'm not gonna be changing those settings. When the bee comes out, I won't have time to change those settings. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just gonna crouch down here as long as it takes, and I'm not looking for a bee. If you see a bee landing, it's too early, they haven't done a burrow. What I'm looking for are these little burrows that are covered up and I'm just going to observe them and eventually you'll see the ground or the dirt start to move and that's when a bee is coming up out of the burrow and that's when we're going to get the shot we want. There's a bee coming out of his burrow just here. So I'm going to go right above him and just grab the shot I want. And unfortunately, I missed that opportunity. There was literally a split second from when the bee pokes its head up until it comes out of the burrow. I want just his head poking out. So we will not be deterred, we will not, won't be put off, we will just remain in this area and keep on looking. So we've got some activity here. I'm gonna get down in position, wait for the head to pop up and get the shot. He almost had, no, he almost had me. <laughs> and uh, they're not aggressive, they're just landing on me and it just, it freaks me out, that's all. It's, um, they're not aggressive, they're not, they're not gonna sting you unless you physically grab one. But when one lands on you, it does freak you out a little bit. So there's the shot I wanted. The mining bee coming out of its burrow. I'm very happy with that shot. We're gonna take that back to the studio now and process it and hope to God the focus is bang on. What I wanna do now is, I want to talk to you about videography. Now take a look at these shots here. So what I want to do is explain how I get those shots now for you. Now I did say before in previous videos I want to introduce videography into the channel. So this is where we're going to get those shots. Now the wide shots that you're seeing here now, this is done with our main rig. This is an EOS R and we have free well filters on there and I'm using the Platypod tripod in order to get the camera as low as possible to the ground. The Platypod is a perfect solution for that type of shot. Now this shot here that you're seeing, which is a slow motion shot, for that, all I use is my iPhone. For those shots, we do need some equipment. We have the Moment iPhone case and the moment lens. Now for your information, this is an iPhone 12 Pro, so it's not the latest, greatest in technology that's out there. Now you can use the inbuilt app that comes with your iPhone, but I prefer to use the Filmic Legacy app. So we're going to go into there now. I'm gonna to switch to my wide lens. And what you wanna do, you wanna go into the resolution, you wanna drop your resolution down to 1080p with an 8-bit file. That's the only way you're gonna get the high frame rate. Then when you go to the frame rate, you want 240 frames a second. And all we do now is we find ourselves a beat and we just start recording. Once we've got the footage we want, and we only need a couple of seconds because you're filming in 240 frames a second, we type that into our editing software, we tell the software that we wanna see it in 24p, and we get our slow motion footage. There's no exposure settings to deal with, you don't have to worry about any of that. With the Filmic Pro, you just point and shoot and away you go. 
and we're going to get some footage of these bees here. So that's it from this bee adventure. I've got some great photos, but more importantly, I've had more fun doing this than going around the entire nature reserve trying to get multiple shots of different species. Much more fun concentrating on one species. And I think with this particular species of bee, I think patience and care is probably the best way to go about getting a shot that you like. This is my favorite shot of the day. This shot has been edited in Lightroom using my macro presets and has been finished off in Photoshop using my macro assistant actions. I want to thank my Patreon supporters for supporting me and this channel, but that's where I shall leave this video. My name's Stuart Wood and I'll see you on the next adventure. We've come to one of my favourite locations, not too far when I... Where, well, blah. <laughs> We've come to one of my favourite locations for doing... What? It is my favourite location, but we do have to stop periodically for trains. So we've been here a while now, and since we didn't know what type of... Oh, one landed on me then. <laughs> so we've been in this location for about an hour now, and we've done some research, and we believe these are... Moving. Yes, they are. <laughs> so I've slowed down, I've taken... I'm looking on the floor down here. I can see there is no bee well there. <laughs> Someone's just stuck up my arse.